Right. Angela Rob here, and this is another episode of Behind the Mirror. This week we're gonna take a look at, much like David Letterman and CBS, the old CBS mailbag. We get letters, we get letters. We get sacks and sacks of letters. Sometimes they come in from Canada Post. Fairly uh, bubble wrapped, registered mail. Other times we get a little more handwritten fare and we're going to run by uh, what we've seen in the last couple weeks and some of the motivations behind them. Uh, sometimes people see columns and stories online and don't realize they're a couple years old but they're new to the writers of the letter. So they're going to hit us. Uh, a lot of times we get handwritten letters in multicolors, that kind of business and more. Some are religious based and bent. Others more political in nature. Uh, of course, our columnist Gerald Landerman uh, gets a lot. Um, again, many color, coat of many colors as far as responses. We do get two sided affairs sometimes. Again, sometimes we do get, um, what's the word? I guess more, more puzzle based uh, letters in nature sometimes. Messing around with unfolding documents that we have to then decipher, and sometimes they have come with a cipher, and then we have to break some codes before we get the order of some of the words. Other times they're very tech based and not, um, say, um, faith based. Uh, oh, this is about in. Uh, country in the far east in the far west depending on where you are in the world uh, americans are currently breathing in smart dust that is uh, 60 gigahertz of microwaves and being controlled by the 5g of course very similar to the plot of suicide squad um, this one brings up space force as well as the diamond princess cruise ship that was designed to indoctrinate people all kinds of business letters, letters to the editor. Beware of the bottomless pit. Sometimes we get questions about why we haven't run certain stories or images. Um, here's one from a western province, certainly uh, a neighbor to us, to immediately to the east, Alberta, uh, with our prime minister in a clearly 30s, 40s dictator German garb, if you will, wondering why we haven't run it in the paper. Same thing, guess who? The medical health officer, Teresa Tam, made up to look like a man. Readers want to know why we're not running these. Sometimes you just can't prove them, if you know. And sometimes they're running uh, with no letters to the editor signing them, right? Uh, my life is called and appointed. Again, jumps from clearly something from our friends at King James into very, very old English. Um, before some vowel and consonant shifts due to the Anglo-Saxons. And a uh, little le notice to the public, letter to the editor, there's another one. These sorts of things. Again, we like to keep them uh, to two to three hundred words. Uh, it's best when they go on uh, for a few pages. That adds up quite quick. A handwritten pages, usually two, three hundred words. Um, oftentimes, too, when people write the letters, and they group other uh, people into the um, letters. School uh, districts, sometimes politicians, Mike Bernier, Bob Zimmer, Justin uh, Trudeau, obviously. And um, then when these offices don't get back to the letter writers, sometimes then in the next letter, they are part of the conspiracy. Um, we uh, get all kinds of letters. And we read them all, we document them all, we log them all. If you don't sign your name to them, though, we can't... Um, contact you to make sure they're your thoughts and we certainly can't publish them if they come in unaddressed beyond that letter writers often are looking to get something off their chest and they think that the letter or the publication of the letter is going to solve all the problems and bring the, the shining light of justice to their plight In my 25 years of experience here it never does what it does is bright shine a bright shining light on the letter writer and only the letter writer because it's their name on it but certainly, issues of the day, things politicians have said, stories, columns, in response, your own thoughts. Send us those to the editor. 
at E-D-I-T-O-R at D-C-D-N.C-A, or of course, shoot us a snail mail. Takes longer though, because then we got to get uh, the typists working on that. Otherwise, behind your mirror, this week, letters to the editor. Sometimes they're manifestos, sometimes they're ciphers, other times they're just good old-fashioned birthday cards. Till next week.